I'm Ben. I'm sorry. If you would like to get your song reviewed, dear listener, there's the filthy capitalist option. It's sorry says. 125 gets you straight to the head of the line. You don't have to be a part of the alliance. You don't have to be part of the group. Wait a minute. And the biggest thing is you don't have to wait. You hop, skip, and jump right in front of everybody. 125 gets you there. You do that three times, and then get matched down to the $75 rate for perpetuity. Yes! Also, there is a band review option. <laughs> so if you've got a band and you're trying to get your band some exposure, hit me up at sorry at gmail.com, and I'll show you the details about how to pull you that off. You can also jump on Patreon, and there is a option on the tiers to be able to get your band reviewed. Yep. Obviously, we can't lie to you. So we can't guarantee, can't guarantee a positive you review. A positive review. <laughs> get what you get. It's just rubbish. 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 That's British for garbage. Ah! My favorite is a community option. One dollar at the gate gets you in a Patreon. You get to join an alliance. The alliance joins their points together, and that helps determine what songs that we do. <laughs> the alliances hang out on Discord. Shh. Message me on Patreon to get the link. And they do all kinds of other cool things. They do Minecraft. What? Dungeons and Dragons. Yeah, yeah. It's really a community within the community. Anybody can go on the village, facebook.com backslash Finn and Sorry. There's 160 plus thousand people on the channel. What's cool about the Discord is that it offers a real opportunity for community connection, friendship, that type of thing. But, and it's on Discord, so if you're not a Facebook person, it's for you. You start off at a dollar. Right. Plus you get exclusives. Sorry and I are working on a song. So the first 15 seconds of that was on Patreon. Also, at $15 here and above, when we actually debut the video, they're going to be there live with us. There you are, dear listener. Fire merch. Are you ready? Let's go. Kiss me as we die. Doyle, let's go.
Uh huh. I think that that uh, that was a girl from Mark Enemy at the end there. That's what I think. Perhaps it was. Perhaps it was. I think this song was a. You can um, just put that back to the middle. Okay. I think this song was a vampire song. Oh. We were born in the <laughs> night, and then he says, shoving the stake right into my chest. It was like a more metal version of uh, uh, Peter Steele stuff. Shall we wait? Shall, waiting for the sunlight to carry us home. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And then we're, uh, we will burn in daylight, kiss me as we die. Mm -hmm. So they're vampires, which is really interesting. He says, we were born in the night, you know. Uh, same with the wife, born in the dark, like being in the night. So I we got that we got that in our we got that in our That's shit. True. We got that in our shit. Born That's in the dark, true. like being in the night. Y'all know about that. You don't know. We were the original that. ones. Huh? I said you don't know nothing about that. You don't know nothing about you don't know damn. That's a Texas slang. Nan. What Which is means it? You know nothing. You don't know it. Nan? You don't know Nan? You don't know Nan. Oh. You don't trust oh, like that. We don't know Nan about no. We don't know Nan about no yeah. pictures of over here. No, we don't know Nan. <laughs> Boy, like the viper preparing to strike. So this to mean Through that the means that they're gonna the stay. They're gonna die together. Type of shit. Like mm -hmm. uh, okay. rest in peace to the homie. But my uh, one of my one of my guys. Well, he wasn't really one of my guys. To be honest with you, he was like before my time. He fought in the Battle of Black Sea, uh, known as Black Hawk Down or whatever. And uh, oh. his girl, his girl just recently died of COVID. And he posted a video. We were watching it last night, this morning, whenever it was. Time just kind of is one big continuum for us. <laughs> Rockstar lifestyle glitches. Mm -hmm. And um, he said, do you love me? She said, yes. And he goes, well, what if I left you? And she said, I just follow. I just track you down. I just follow you. And it's very, like, sweet little. <laughs> I know. I Honestly, you were playing it. And I thought you were watching a preview to a movie. Yeah. No, that was just real shit. That For was real, I real, really like, did. And then I looked over your shoulder, and even the lighting and everything like looked like a video that they would make in a movie. Try to, yeah, it was pretty. Yeah, like it, it was like uh. it was kind of like, you know, the line between, you know, and I think about this a lot with us because we're so obsessive about each other and shit. And, you know, sometimes it gets to like, you know, I'm like, this is not healthy. But at the same time, it's like, but I enjoy it so much. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And like that stalkerish kind of like, yeah. You know, like if you mm -hmm. if you you know, uh, I'm not gonna say anything on video and incriminate myself in case you get any weird ideas about leaving me and shit. So I'm just gonna keep that off 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 camera. But like. I have no intention of leaving it's you. Real, real world. I, I don't know. I, kinda, I don't know, man. Like, I feel like all the real. I don't know. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, 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 I don't know how to articulate it without it coming off sounding really crazy. But Just basically, say it. Basically, like these two in the song, it's like you know they're vampires and they're like, look, man, we, you know. It's over. We're, we're going to die together. She puts a stake in his heart. She's grabbing his wrist, whatever. It's all this, like, imagery of death. But it basically, it's just a way of saying, you know, because metal, you know, you got the dark side. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. sometimes, like, we play into that that dark side. But it's really not, like, dark side. It's more of, <laughs> of saying, like... It's poetic justice. It's poetic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's basically a poetic way of saying, like, we're going to stay poetic together forever is basically yeah. the way I'm interpreting it. Yeah. And in relationships, especially the real, like, follow, like, I remember, what was it? It was Angelina Jolie and Billy Bob Thornton. Okay. Which I always thought to myself, how the hell did that dude snag that girl? I know who she is. Like, my guy. Billy Her name Bob is who? Billy Bob. But, like. Billy Bob Thornton. Yeah, yeah. But they were like massively obsessed with each other. Like she had a vial of his blood in in a uh, like. A, oh really? She had a vial of his blood in in like a little Who's pendant that, that she. Oh yeah. my god! Are you serious? Yeah. Well, I mean, his game must have been high. Yeah, he's because... well. Well, I mean, <laughs> my game must have been high, and so must have been. Oh, your game is, your your game is very high. Yeah, my, my shit is my shit is very very. Like, I've never seen fine. I've never seen game like yours. Yeah, my shit is fine, bro. I ain't gonna lie, my shit is, my shit is fucking. This is A1 game right here. Yeah. But, like, 
they had the most like three they 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 ended up breaking up and shit because it was just it was just too intense i think for them to because they were in the public eye so much that they're both you know whatever and like the, the big movie that he played in too um he was like this like slow kind of redneck uh, yeah i forgot the name of the the movie or whatever but like i was always like yo number one how did he bag that girl because like yeah. angelina jolie at the time like she oh was, my god she put a tattoo of him and everything yeah i'm telling you she had a vial of blood she had a vial of, they right. had this vial of blood that they both wore like the shit was uncomfortable it was just uncomfortable like yeah, that's in terrible. And, shit. Relation, and like not. he was all look at look at that look at that picture right there. Like he's all on her shit. Like oh my gosh, you know, grabbing her junk that. and shit. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that. Like and she's like, yeah, whatever, let's go. Yeah, like, she look. She's biting her bottom lip. She, yeah, she's with it. Yeah, she's on that shit. And they were like on the red carpet and shit. And like this is just normal. Like it was like so intense. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I used to watch it. I'd be like, yo, how how did he snag her like that? And how in the world? Do do they get that level of intensity? Like, how does that happen? Look at because, their faces when they lurking at at each yeah, other too. Yeah, because when I was coming up in the hood, like we didn't have any like, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's no like love. Like, you would never express love like that to a female. Mm-hmm. Like, which is never yeah, happened. yeah. I remember you saying that. So like, you know, now me and you know, so you got these like unhealthy type of you know. Sling Blade, there it is, there it is. Who? Sling Blade was the name of the movie. Oh, with Billy one, Bob. Okay, but so it, it, there was a dark element to their relationship for sure, and you know, obviously, you know, it did survive or whatever. But how long did it last? I I don't they, they, uh, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't know okay. how long they were together. You know what I'm saying? But for me, I always thought to myself, I wonder like how long, you know, those kind of those kind of intense you know relationships can last yeah you know what I'm saying? yeah well so there's this concept of the twin flame remember I, I years ago i looked into it i thought it was the most fascinating thing and yeah i remember go ahead yeah it's basically you know my memories whatever but basically it's two people that are insanely like attracted and connected and even sometimes can know like what's going on with the other one even if they're not even around them and so there's that, like, they're just ridiculously close. The pictures of it, too, are, are very, very beautiful. And, um, but anyway, so there's, there, it's that idea. And then you have, but it was saying, like, basically, if, if you have people, it, they, what it is is, like, two really intense people that get together. And then their relationship is obviously very intense because both of them have little to no chill. And so when the two of them are together, there's always like problems, but that if they can work out their own separate issues, they can really, really like be like a power friggin' couple. Like it, they're just an amazing, and, and it almost sounded like from the way that it was, it, it's like that relationship that even if it was like toxic, you're like, that was toxic as fuck, but it was unfreaking real. You know what I mean? Like it's that yeah. sort of category of, but, um. Yeah, and and like kind of sounds like these people hit it off, but they didn't have their personal issues well, worked I just out. Think so being in Hollywood, it's gonna damn any kind of relationship. Oh, it's gotta be like like that, like yeah. That. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's gotta but, be hard. Holy moly, all your life is on. But you and I were both middle children. We're both massively extreme mm-hmm. people, mm-hmm. and it, it it gets it, it gets intense at times. And you know, we're obviously mm-hmm. we're still young and figuring shit out. So I'm sure at points it, it can get, you know, toxic or whatever. But, like, on the mm-hmm. outside looking in, like, sometimes, like, I sit and think about shit. Like, how intense shit is between me and you. I'm like, fuck, man. But then it's like, to go from a relationship where there were no intense feelings like that. There were intense feelings of, like, rage mm-hmm. and, like, what the fuck is going on? Mm-hmm. But there wasn't, like, that, like really intense type of and i was completely cool with that i was completely cool with living and dying with that and all because i made a commitment or whatever and like i just never thought first of all i thought to myself that's got to be real somewhere because you have stories like romeo and juliet and things like that that's got to be real somewhere um i had just never seen it in real life and then you know me and you got together and 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 the shit is like uh it's a hell of a ride. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it's a, it's a, and it's yeah. it's risky because because we're such we're so extreme. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like you know, 
Yep. I, I've been wounded. My wounds. <laughs> it was kind of fun getting them, but you know what I'm saying? No, nah, no, nah, you're, you're misinterpreting what I'm saying. Like oh, that. I get what you're doing. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not like that. But, I thought uh, you were saying because sometimes we're intense, we're fighting, and I make you sad or something. No, oh, I man. see where you're going with that. Nah, oh, you, well, hey, you got I what you got. I you dealing with a grown man. Like, yeah. I don't care. I don't care about that shit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, 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 no. I, I, yeah. So, like, I, it's it's like you're, you, you know... Well, he's talking, he's talking about killing her, blah, blah, blah. It's like, well, yeah. God, I mean, yeah. You know, like, Dory's like, but is he, though? Is he, though? Yeah. <laughs> you know, Dory wants to excuse something. It's like, is but he, though? Is he, though? Is he though? Yeah, it's patently obvious to everybody, but he really wants to defend the person or whatever. So, it, yeah, is yeah, he, though? I mean, it, is it, it, be, it doesn't matter who or what it is. <laughs> yeah. He's going to defend that shit. But, yeah, like, I, I like that, like, so apparently these two have that kind of a relationship, and they're, like, they're both in, like, Mm -hmm. legendary rock bands or whatever. Yeah. And so, you know, I mean, it, it, I'm sure it, it gets... And it's really interesting, too, because they have to spend a lot of time apart because they're in different bands. Right, so right. So I'm sure when they see each other, it's like, raw and like, who are you talking to? What's going on there? That mm -hmm. must be crazy. Why'd that person linger so long? <laughs> I don't I don't know how long that those type of situations can last, but I think me I and you, that's the thing. It's like, me and you are like, together all the time so mm -hmm. we have that intensity but there's no like you know billy bob's in a movie she's in a movie they get a break from each other mm -hmm. same thing with these guys they're in a different band they get in a break from each other but like there's no break from each other so it's just raw <laughs> you know what i'm saying boom, boom, oh boom. my gosh yeah that's so funny <laughs> that's actually so funny to think about because even though we're we're in our 30s there's still elements elements to us that are like childlike and young okay. so it's like like, if I was, like, much older than us, I'd be like, you guys need to take some chill. You know what I mean? But we're, like, no! Ah! Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, nobody would even get involved in the middle of that shit. Oh, no. No. They wouldn't even, they'd be like, nope! <laughs> <laughs> Not in the middle of that. <laughs> um, because that's the thing, like, we would turn on the person. Right. Right. Person would just get turned on, so it just it just wouldn't it just it just wouldn't go well for them. <laughs> yeah, you know what's funny? <laughs> so there was this woman that I was talking to, and I was hoping that you know, like, just discussing different things and getting advice from someone that's older than me. You know what I mean? She was like a spiritual whatever. Yeah, yeah. You know who I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so I started discussing something to her, and the minute that she. I was fine with her pointing out if I did something wrong in a given situation, but the second that she said anything about you, she was like, um, and it wasn't even anything. She's like, well, he should consider more blah, blah, blah. And when she said it, I was like immediately frustrated with her. And I was like, well, no, I don't think you're understanding the situation. So yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. I, don't, I don't think it would work. People that, just... That's what I'm saying. Like if somebody, yeah, sir. I'm like, what the fuck do you mean? Yeah. What you trying to say? <laughs> She tried to say. So, but she was yelling at you. You, you know, you know that, you know that, that time. Like this is before we were together. Like we were just friends, and like the guy had a the oh, guy yeah. had a problem, and people were gonna talk it out. They're like, all right, we're gonna bring Vinny in there. And the guy was like, nah, you can't bring Vinny in there. <laughs> he said it's too, like, too close to the situation. <laughs> we were I, just friends. I'm completely irrational. We, you know, we were just friends, but no, yeah, I know, but I'm completely irrational when it comes to you, man. <laughs> like. Me and you will fight. We're going to fight. And we're going to fight. But don't come on the outside and say them dumb shit about my fucking... Anyway, I thoroughly enjoyed this song. Sometimes a fight will yes, happen. There's healthy relationships, <laughs> dude. Let me tell you one more unhealthy <laughs> thing. Listener. Sometimes after a fight, I'll be like, geez, I hope somebody, you know, like, if somebody were to come, <laughs> come in and say something, because then all of a sudden you'd be there to protect me. Like, if something... You see what I'm saying? Like, if we've had an argument and then we're not really we're not really talking for a little bit of time, and then, like... I'm like, oh, if only... Remember that time you went into the store and the, the guy said something and so then you got involved? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm like secretly yeah, like hoping that said, I'm like, wait, said, should I manipulate it? No, I can't do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he said... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway. Said, what did he say? So I went back in the <laughs> went back. You're like, no, 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 no. I was like, no, nah, don't fucking tell me he said that shit and he's fucking right there. Because normally what happens is like we're driven away and like I can, I can never do something. So yeah, I know. I was like, oh, I said, word, 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 who? Okay. 
Do give me a second. Well, that was what that was what influenced my next song. Although I will say, you know, part of the reason why I'll say no, I don't want to like make. I don't want to feel like I put you in that situation, even though I did by telling you. But I didn't because he's the one that said something no, first. No, he's the one that said all that ignorant shit. But yeah. No, that's that's on you know. But obviously, say, say you know, you want to see your man standing for your honor. What's on your own head, boy? Yeah, but you want to see your man standing for your honor, so it's a, it's a cool look. So there is a part of me that does want to tell you anytime something happens, but then sometimes I'm like, wait, am I overdoing this? Because, you know, I like to see you in that protective mode. <laughs> but then I'm like, that's not. Well, anyway, let's stop talking about this. This was not about us. This was about uh, you guys. And I agree with you. Like the when it, I think, and I think you said this at the beginning, I feel your fingers gently grab me by the wrist, but I never noticed that you were shoving this strike right into my chest. So it sounds like, the, probably the, the steak. I think it, it, they they messed up on the. I the, oh the steak. Yeah, I think I'm pretty sure it's the steak because oh. it's the vampire. It's the vampire, you know, metaphor. Yeah, I thought that it was one was a vampire and then they bit the other one to well, make no, them a vampire too. Uh, we're, and then we're, they died in the sunlight together. That's yeah, what I very happened. very possible. Very very possible. Right here, we will burn in the daylight. Yeah, that's the thing. It's the whole we're gonna die together shit. And yeah, look, either way. I mean, I guess you could say it's toxic or whatever. But, uh, <laughs> I guess you could say. But it's a good ride. Well, okay, okay, here's the thing. Like I said, it, human beings are capable of deep, deep, deep facets of love, but they're also, as I always say, we're always sinners. So there's always going to be the that thorn with the rose. Mm -hmm. And so the deeper you get into intensity then the deeper you're going to have capacity to wound one another. And I think couples that understand that and mutually understand that about each other are... are in, and I think that's why you you have movies like Twilight or whatever that become such massive hits. I mean, you can kind of make fun of it, but when you really dig deep into the psychology, it's a recognition of people are going to hurt each other if they love each other and it just it, that's how it happens and the, to the degree that you're intense is to the degree that shit is going to be you know painful or whatever and you know maybe in 10 years i'll say that's a really fucked up way to look at it but i don't really think it is i think it's a mm. it's a realistic way of accepting the fact that that's going to happen and i think a lot of people like they they just want all the the flurries and they want intensity but they don't want the other side of it oh wow yeah, you see, and that's why a lot of those relationships kind yeah, of burn because out. Because it's it is interesting. I will say that the is that that like you know how romanticism is. It's like oh, you see each other across the room, but there's not a there's no struggle with the with romanticism. It's just butterflies and good feelings and roses. Yeah, you never and, see Romeo and Juliet hurting each other's feelings, right? You know, it's like an us against the the world type of situation. Yeah. But when you get to practical married life, the world, you know, moves on from you. Nobody cares. Right. And then you just have each other. And then you have to contend with the fact that, no, you are against each other. You are hurting each other. And so, like, I don't know. It seems to me like like movies and, and, and songs like this kind of recognize, yeah, people are going to hurt each other. Sure, you know, these two. But these two have figured it out. You know what I'm yeah. saying? They figured out how to... How to have that intensity that they obviously have for each other. How yeah. to overlook the the pain that they both cause each other and say, you know what, the the you know it's like that jars of clay song. The pain is worth the thunder. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like it's worth it if you find the right person and if yeah. you if you you know that's why I said like after you like I would never ever be in a relationship again. just because it wouldn't be fair to the next person. It would just be completely unfair to the next person. Because I wouldn't be able to, I wouldn't be able to match that level of, uh, you know, like obsessive type of whatever. Mm -hmm. And I would always be thinking about you, and you know, I'd be like, "What are you doing?" Type of shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just, just, oh wow, well. be horrible for the other person. But <sighs> yeah. Anyway, uh, good song. Yeah, I mean, uh, a 15 month deployment tested us. Yeah, 15 freaking months, man. That's why I said like. Anywhere from six to eighteen months, man. That shit is I mean, fifteen months is a, this a year and a half, man. Yeah, that's you know almost two saying? pregnancies. That's almost two pregnancies. You come, you know, like like I said, on both sides, like shit is, you know. But it's those couples that can like, but even the way that he talks about tested us. Yeah. Like this is a test of 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 the strength of what we mm. have here. Oh, that's cute. Like, yeah. That's language of people that that 
that stay, that have staying power. That's that that kind of language. You, oh, okay, that's why they've been together for so long. Mm -hmm. but this is a test now. Yeah, yeah. And so if you can look at the parts of where you hurt each other, whatever, and 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 the hard parts and the whatever, it's like okay, this is a test. And of course, you know that can be used the wrong way. But if both of the people genuinely, ultimately love each other, committed and down for each other, then they're gonna look at that shit as a test, and, mm -hmm. and you're gonna you're gonna move on. But these two should write a fucking book, man, because mm -hmm. this shit is rare. It, it it's 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 hard enough to remain married for seventeen years. And Multiple we don't mean all that. Shit I know we've said on. this before. We say it on. I want to say it on every video though. When we say you know things getting a little toxic or whatever, like we don't mean somebody staying in an abusive situation. No. I don't mean that. But we do mean that, you know, I do think that if if you're in a situation where it is toxic to that degree, that if, again, if both parties love each other, they can work toward, you know, like getting the, the abusive person the help that they need and, you know, growing, you know. Well, yeah. Yeah. And when, yeah, and when we say toxic, like we, we, we're we both, you know, coming out of divorces, healthy backgrounds and things like that. It's, mm -hmm. it's ridiculous to think that you're going to be completely perfectly functional i'm going to be completely perfectly functional both do things that have both have defense mechanisms triggers and all the other shit and um you know we've we've tested each other pretty pretty pretty, pretty uh deeply in the last couple of years but you know that's 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 not the same thing as like you know an abusive horrible terrible you right. know, relationship where people are not trying to improve we're, we're both trying to improve we're both trying to you know Mm -hmm. you know grow and, and comes to self-awareness and uh, and i think i i think we're we're making we're making progress mm -hmm. and as long as you're as you're making progress and falling forward it's just like you're walking with god as long as you're falling forward you're in good shape right so that's right. anyway that's how i look at it so anyway dear listener having said that moral of the story is uh love each other yep. hard and long yep get out <laughs> sorry out gone Villagers, we're having our March Madness contest once again this year. This is a fundraiser and all of the funds are going to help other villagers in need. Here's how it works. It's a college basketball tournament to determine the national champion. You go to ESPN.com and fill out a bracket predicting the winners of each game throughout the tournament. And whoever chose the winners correctly most will win our contest. You don't have to know a whole lot about basketball for this to work. If you want to, you can look at stats and analysis that are available on ESPN for you for free. Or you can ignore all that and choose simply your favorite school colors or mascot or something like that just have fun with it now there's a link to make your donation in the description to this video the minimum to play is one dollar but you're encouraged to do more if you can since this is all going to be helping out villagers the same place where you make your donation will have more information on joining the bracket group for our village you can make your donation at any time and you can start filling out your brackets on march 13th and you'll have until the beginning of the first game on march 17th to have completed and submitted your brackets if you have any questions Questions, send those to me at Venonsori March Madness at gmail.com. We had a lot of fun doing this last year and I look forward to seeing y'all there this year.